I was actually reading through your values uh, last night and I noticed the one who said, uh, we must be bold and try new ideas that do not compromise safety. Looks good on paper. That's a tricky thing. It's, it's hard. That is a hard thing to do. But it's bold. Yeah. We are going to try new things. We don't, we don't sink shaft and we don't do lateral development like we did in the 1950s. Mm-hmm. We're proud of that. We're proud of it. We should be. But we have to be bold to try new things that don't compromise our employees' health and welfare. Right. So a lot of the investments that we make in technology are about removing exposure and removing risk yeah. from the environment. Uh Chow, Chow's technology is game changing. It identifies that person out in front of you or that other risk. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. Maybe it's a, it, it, it's a piece of infrastructure or utility that's hanging down in the middle of the roadway um, and is going to come right through the windshield at you if you hit it. Yeah. Right? Those are things that we actually now have the ability to monitor identify and control. So what is an example then of good risk? Because when we talk about that, it's easy to go. Yeah, that, that, that of course that makes oh. sense, but what is the good risk? What is the, and, and beyond risk, the good failure, which, where should you be failing? So you learn. So if we're not failing occasionally, we're not trying hard enough. Right. Let's agree on that. I, I, I think at the end of the day, we will take a, a company of our size. Um, anytime we try a new technology, we're taking a risk on that technology. One, that it won't perform the way we think, which is usually the case, by the way, which is which we'll come back <laughs> to it. It's a, yeah. it's a good thing, right? But look, we're we're putting limited time and treasure to adopting a new a new technology. There's a risk there for us, right? Absolutely a risk. So you're talking us. about you're talking about a time risk, financial risk, um, and the, result and, risk, and the final risk can always be, and you have to be very open to this, and you have to be very eyes out front is have we created a new health and safety risk by the adoption of a new technology? Right. So you have to be very, very clear about how it's going to fit into your workforce, how it's going to fit into the environment, and is it still as safe or better than not using it? Right. So there's a risk reward there that has to be weighed. And look, every time we try something new, ah, it just doesn't go the way we thought the first time, but therein, therein lies right. that secret sauce of, okay, what do we do now? How do you- And assess, sorry. and assess, yeah. did this create a new risk? Yes or no. If it has, is it acceptable? Is it better or worse? But it's a, it's a continuum of how do we improve without failing? We don't. So we're okay with failure as long as it results in skin knuckles, but no broken neck, right? Right. Just put a, to put a point to it. But at the end of the day, we're always taking risk. You took, we both took a risk to get here today, whether we drove or we walked across the street, it was a calculated risk. Yeah. It was what we believe was an understood risk right? and we accepted it. And, And sometimes that's okay. And, and you need to, and you need to be clear of what you're, that I, you're I do, taking these risks. I think you have to be absolutely, yes. you have to be absolutely clear what the risks are, yeah. the, especially identifying new risks. Yeah. You have to really work hard at that. It's not something that's inherent in a lot of people. Yeah. Right. 